Hello, Internet, and welcome back to the Buffalo Bulletin, where we recap five major stories from our site, technobuffalo.com, every Tuesday and Friday. If you're interested in reading more about any story I mentioned on the show, check the description for links down below, or click on the graphics for each story if you have annotations available and toggled on. I'm Ashley Skeva. Here are your top stories. Google's expanding Chromecast support this week after announcing 10 newly compatible apps that will bring new content and local media streaming to your television. Over the coming days, Chromecast will gain access to Vivo, Red Bull TV, Songza, Post TV, Viki, Revision 3, and BeyondPod. As for local content streaming, Plex, Avia, and Real Player Cloud will also be arriving sometime this week. Unfortunately, you're still relying on third-party apps for Chromecast support, and you can't stream content directly from your device to your television, but honestly, we're not really complaining about those apps. Google also in the news this week for some new products hitting the Google Play Store. The Sony Z Ultra, a white Nexus 7, and the LG G-Pad Google Play Edition all hit the Play Store earlier today. The Z Ultra is running 4.4 KitKat, sheds the Xperia name Sony typically has on their devices, and will put you back 649 bucks off contract. The Nexus 7 is simply a white equivalent of Google's flagship tablet and looks to be in short supply already. Now the LG G-Pad also runs Android 4.4 KitKat and it costs 350 bucks off contract, but for now is a US only launch. Over in gaming, Rockstar released the post to their own newswire yesterday with some updates regarding Grand Theft Auto 5 Online. They're releasing a deathmatch and race creators beta, allowing players to make their own custom jobs and publish them for the Grand Theft Auto Online community to try out. They're also introducing a capture mode later this month, dropped some hints about online heists, and said, quote, substantial additions, unquote, to GTA's story mode were slated for Michael, Franklin, and Trevor in 2014. Square Enix also in the news this week after announcing a definitive edition of the critically acclaimed Tomb Raider reboot would be headed for next-gen consoles. The game will run natively in 1080p, have nearly four times the texture resolution, and include all the DLC previously released. Well, I kind of like this idea of later last-gen titles re-released for next-gen with better resolutions and a bunch of DLC, don't you? Tomb Raider Definitive Edition drops for PS4 and Xbox One on January 28th, 2014. Lastly, our wildcard story for the day comes from Legendary Pictures, who dropped the Godzilla trailer on us this morning in a big, bad way. Everyone's favorite Lizard of Destruction will be hitting theaters May 16th of next year, and if the trailer is an accurate depiction of what we'll be seeing in theaters, holy jeez, are we excited here at Techno Buffalo. Seriously, my mind cried tears of happiness seeing Godzilla back on the big screen again. Mega excitement! That's the Buffalo Bulletin for today. If you enjoyed the show, a thumbs up would be super amazing of you. And if you want more great Techno Buffalo video content, please subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking this giant subscribe button. See you guys next time.